The domino effect of Nick Saban's retirement continues to trickle down all the way to roster reconstruction. Isaiah Bond and several others already left in the transfer portal, but those are moves that you feel very comfortable replacing. It's a little more challenging when you lose a talent like Caleb Downs. So now Downs in the transfer portal. What does this mean for the future of Alabama and for the front runners to go ahead and land the five-star defensive back? Let's go ahead and talk about it. But if you are new here, welcome on into the channel, people. My name is Cole Thompson. I'm a radio show host based in Houston, and I talk college football daily. Simply because the clock has struck zero on 2023, it does not mean we're going from 100 to zero when making content. We got live shows coming up this week. We got a banner. We're going to be recapping 2023, looking ahead to 2024, and a bunch of other nonsense with the transfer portal and coaching searches. So if this is the daily fix you need to survive, no college football on your television screen Saturdays, well, let's go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Give me your thoughts on who do you think is in the best location to land Caleb Downs. Tell your friends, your family, your mortal enemies, your best of bros, college football aficionados, Georgia fans, SEC fans, Alabama faithful everywhere about this channel because we're on the race to become the number one YouTube show talking college football daily. Go ahead and follow me on social media at Mr. Cole Thompson. That way, conversations surrounding our favorite sport never have to stop flowing. Caleb Downs is one of one. There is the only way to put it. He is an enforcer that can easily manipulate wide receivers into falling for the trap and because going to cause a turnover. He's an enforcer when it comes to closing the gap and playing the run, physical at the point of an attack, not afraid to utilize his whole body, leader in the locker room, treats himself like he is a veteran despite being a newcomer. In fact, I was texting one of the people that was on Alabama's former staff, with Nick, not too long ago. And the way he described it was, this is an 18-year-old in an all-pro body. And I texted him back and I said, well, how is he an all-pro? You mean all-American? No, no, I mean, he's acting like he's 25 years old and has been playing in the NFL for three seasons now. He's that good. He's that much of an impactful player. And in fact, if you hear the way that Nick talked about him, you hear the way that Kevin Steele talked about him, any of the teammates talked about him, they would all say the same thing. This was... The light switch. The way that you view this is, this is the one thing that operates everything else. Sets the tone inside the weight room. Sets the tone inside the locker room meeting. Sets the tone in film study. Demands excellence in practice. That's the type of guy you're getting in Caleb Downs. So he's one of one. There is no replacing that type of talent. Here's the good news, though. I do think Alabama, with what they have brought in, especially on the coaching side, will be fine without downs. They can still win it all, even if number two is no longer the number one defensive back playing for your school. It goes elsewhere. You have a roster that I truly do think is still balanced. What's going to be a big deal is how you work the transfer portal in the next several weeks with players from Washington, players from Arizona, players that potentially are still out looking for their next destination. How you construct that roster in the next several weeks is going to play a major factor for the way that we view you. But you're Alabama. You've made two exceptional defensive hires in the last 24 hours with Kane Womack coming over from South Alabama, leaving his post as a head coach, and Maurice Linguist leaving his post in Buffalo to become your defensive backs coach. I don't think you guys know a lot about about Maurice Linguist. Guy was phenomenal at Texas A&M understands the way of land, did a great job recruiting for two years, then goes to the NFL and eventually gets the head coaching job at Buffalo. Like that's what's coming into Tuscaloosa. This is a proven experienced guy who has gotten the best version of defensive back play. And now he's going to be able to work with whoever the hell Kalen DeBoer wants to bring in. Maybe it's Shabar Muhammad. Maybe it was supposed to be Caleb Downs. Who knows? But from a Caleb Downs standpoint, a lot of people are probably going to turn to and say, there's a problem in Tuscaloosa. This is the end. This is the exodus. This is where it all comes crashing down. And, you know, we as society fall for the recency bias, and we just kind of are like dogs or cats jingling at keys or even babies with that sense. You know, jingle, jingle, jingle. And you say, ah, that's you. That's the way that I view it a lot of the times. Because of we think because of a player's leaving, that leads to automatic issues behind closed doors. It's a coaching change. This is expected. This is always going to be expected. Star players commit to star people. And the way that I can describe it for a lot of people, imagine that you're in the middle of buying a house. Imagine that right now you're in the middle of closing in on escrow and you've been working with Betty for months. She's shown you every house in the neighborhood. You really like this one. She kind of set the contract negotiations. 
But then Adam comes in and Adam's now trying to sell you on this house as well. Just put the paperwork down. Just, just sign right here on the dotted line. And now you're not entirely sure because if you liked Betty. Betty was helping you out. Betty was the one that was truly being the enforcer for you. And now Adam's doing it. And Adam's just a little bit off when it comes to the way that he talks and the way that he presents himself. And you're a little turned back. It's kind of the way you have to view when it comes to a transfer portal. And especially when it comes to a coaching search. You were told one thing by one staff. Then you were told another thing by another staff. And you don't know these people. You never really worked with them before. You don't really understand what they're all about. And sometimes you want to go where you know everything that you need to know. Traverius Robinson was a very, very influential coach underneath Nick Saban. And it was a reason why before Kane Womack got the job, T-Rob was back in town after taking the job offer underneath Kirby Smart in Athens. They wanted to keep as many players as possible. He's very well respected in Tuscaloosa. And so... He was influential in getting downs also there, and that is a major difference maker. So two guys that were difference makers in Caleb Downs coming to Tuscaloosa over Georgia from the beginning are now retired and in Athens. And you got another guy coming in here trying to set his ways that you aren't really entire sure of. It's not a culture problem. What it is is that people commit to people. People choose people all the time. We look at a guy like Arch Manning right now who probably could make millions of dollars and be a starter for any team in college football. He's not committed just to Texas. He's committed to Steve Sarkeesian. It was why the notion that when it was brought up with all these fake articles that come out saying, where is Arch Manning going to land next? Texas. As long as Steve Sarkeesian's there, so is Arch Manning. And that's the way that Caleb Downs probably felt. As long as Nick Saban's here, I'm in for the long haul. As long as Coach T-Rob's here, I'm not going away. Well, Nick's gone. T-Rob's gone. I have to view my options. Naturally, the number one fit that a lot of people are going to turn to, it's Georgia. He's from the state of Georgia. Number two, T-Rob is now working on the staff. Kirby and him have an exceptional relationship. If you haven't seen it already, I promise you, go to a George Bulldogs fan base account on Twitter, and you'll see the viral video of Kirby Smart giving Caleb Downs a hug. There's a reason for that to be true. And there's a reason for that to ring true. They are going to need some safety help. I do believe that if you add in a guy like Caleb Downs, that's immediate plug and play starter that can go anywhere for you. And they're looking to fortify their roster to where there is no conversation. College football playoff appearance or not, they're the best team in college football. SEC championship or not, you're not leaving us out of the playoff. They're making sure that they are dotting the I's and crossing the T's and Everything is in line for them to go back. No questions asked whatsoever. Another team doing this right now, Ohio State. Ohio State, in my opinion, is the best team in college football retaining talent. That does not mean that they will be the best team going in next year. But when you look at what's coming back, especially defensively, how are you not salivating if you wear the scarlet and gray proud? How are you not on cloud nine racing down Interstate 20 just to be able to buy a lottery ticket and shoot a gun off in the middle of nowhere. Like, that's the way you should feel about this roster and what's being retained. And now, Caleb Downs, potentially, he could be meeting with a guy like Jim Knowles. And if Knowles, you know, there was a rumor that went around not too long ago about, like, how excited they were. I think it was 2021 when Caleb Downs came to visit. They brought out all the red carpet and they brought out all the bells and whistles. Like, they already know what a special talent he is. And now you get a special defense coordinator. And so the special defense coordinator takes the special talent and turns him into a legit All-American overnight that has never been seen before. And now we're talking about him as a top 10 pick in the NFL draft. Not to mention your team probably wins the Big Ten, a couple college football playoff games, and maybe even a national title in the process. I think he's got to be on the radar. I think Texas is on the short radar. Listen, one thing that we know about Steve Sarkeesian, he understands Texas players. He understands Alabama players. Maybe you can talk about that relationship. They don't really need a safety right now. They feel very comfortable with what they added in with Andrew and Buka and what they have as young talent. But they did lose Jerry and Thompson. They did lose Katan Crawford. They are going to at least, I think, be interested in one that has to be a location. Oregon, another one. Simply put, it's Oregon. They're spending a lot of money. They're putting their mouth where their money is. They're not afraid to swing big in the transfer portal era, especially with NIL. Make a lot of sense for him to go there. And Florida State probably being the last one. 
wash, rinse, repeat, proof of concept. We already know what a team in Tallahassee can do when they get defensive players to come on over. They walk away feeling a lot more confident about themselves going into the NFL draft. Just would be a match made in heaven, I think, for a guy like Mike Norvell. But they have it. Those are the locations. We already know this. Caleb Downs, wherever he lands, wherever it may be, is going to be a superstar. He will eventually find his way onto an NFL roster that people are going to call his name when an exciting play happens. And we know for a fact that Caleb Downs is going to come in and be a difference maker wherever he lands. The question is, who ends up getting the superstar talent and the enigma that is one of one? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Don't hit the X button yet. Make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with all of our daily content found on Just Saying It and anything else that we post on this channel. Bye.